Hi everyone, I'm Captain Mark Henderson, the OEM Sales Manager with Taco Marine, and welcome to Tech Talk. What we're gonna do today is give a quick demonstration on how to set up an outrigger system and learn exactly why you even want the things. Why would you check them on the box? But I promise you, you're gonna love it on your new Sportsman's. Before we actually talk about rigging the outriggers, let's talk about why in the world you would even want to put them on your boat when headed offshore. It's pretty simple. The fishing value of outriggers is to widen the spread. Long and short of it, you want a bait out there that's an easy target for a predator, makes it easy for him to spot and simple for him to eat. Fish aren't really that smart. We give them a lot of credit sometimes, but the reality is this, is they see underneath and they see the boat, they see a lot of activity, they see motors running and that kind of thing, it draws attention to them. They think it's food. What they wanna do is feed and evaluate what's in their strike zone. When you put outriggers out, it's a line carrier to widen the spread gets it out of the ordinary, it makes a bait that is out there singly an easy target. The outrigger is a carrier to make sure that that bait is in the strike zone. As you can see in the background, we've already rigged one. It's a pretty simple process, really. Let me show you a quick and easy way to do it. Normally, what I'd like to do is start from the bottom and go backwards. I start at the first eye and go all the way out to the tip. Pull the line through. Make sure you control it. Just stay in control of the product all the time. The next step after running your line through the eyelets is to simply install the ball stop. The value of the ball stop is to keep the swivel and all of your rigging from going back into the eyelet. That way you don't have any issues when fishing offshore. Stepping forward to our fully rigged outrigger, after installing the ball stop, the next thing you would do was install your swivel. And what I normally do with a braided line is I'll go through the swivel eye, I'll tie an arbor knot, and then at the end of it, I'll tie another little knot. That way it doesn't slide through and it stays stable the entire time. Once you install the swivel, it's a pretty simple process. You take the release, you take the swivel, you clip it on, and then it's ready to go. As you can see, it completes that area of which you put your line in and the release falls out. Cool thing about ours is that you can set the tension forever how hard you wanna have the clip lock in place for your line to go through. So what we've done for demonstration purposes is we've attached the bungee cord to the midship cleat. It makes it easy for demonstration and show you how to do it. This is a customer boat, so we don't want to drill right into the gunnel. We want the customer to make that choice. There are many different locations to where it's personal, where you place the halyard line. Some come back to the T-top, some go down to the gunnel. In this particular situation and in this particular kit, we offer this stainless steel camelback to place wherever your chosen location would be. In this kit, we do provide a swivel that allows for a different tension adjustment right on the water. So if a line were to get loose, rigging it this way does allow for an immediate on water tension adjustment. So it's pretty simple. The line slides right up through the swivel, locks in place, and that way it tightens your halyard lines without a problem. So ultimately, after the completion of tying these off, whichever choice that you make and how you want to rig it, ultimately, you're ready to go. All you do is place your line in, run it all the way out to the end and to the tip, put your bait out, and you're ready to catch some big ones. Hey, we really appreciate you visiting Tech Talk today. We've had a lot of fun, and there's a lot of ways to rig outriggers. At Taco Marine, we have several different videos. If you'll go online, check out our YouTube channel, and I think we can help you get through some different options. You know, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below in Tech Talk. And I promise you, we're gonna learn a whole lot together on this thing. 
do us a favor, like, subscribe to Taco Marine and to Sportsman Boats to all of our social media outlets. And if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to our Tech Talk email address. Until next time, I'm Captain Mark Henderson, OEM Sales Manager with Taco Marine, and we appreciate you and Sportsman Boat for the great relationship. See you on the water soon.